In his novel, The Great Divorce, the English lay theologian C.S. Lewis imagined the arrival of a soul to the afterlife after death. In the story, he describes hell as something of a, a dingy place where it's always twilight and people are always quarrelsome. But whenever they want, people in hell can simply make their houses bigger and get farther and farther apart until the soul in hell is effectively isolated and alone. That's not exactly how Jesus describes hell for the rich man in today's readings, but perhaps it offers another analogy to understand what happened to him. In the parable, Jesus doesn't say that he actively did some horrible act. It's what the rich man didn't do. Because he wanted things his way. It ought to be a wake-up call for us now in our very individualistic world. When I was a, a kid in high school in the 60s, there was a big hit from Frank Sinatra. It's probably his last big hit. It was called, I Did It My Way. Some of you may not remember. He just belts out, I did it my way. It's really hard not to be influenced or even swept away by the individualistic tidal wave. I've had to recognize that in my life, how I've been affected by this. I want to do things my way. Maybe meaning to do whatever you can to be successful or rich or just to do whatever I want. Oh, having too many kids would be a real burden. Marriage, sticking with one person, one long-term commitment, one person for so long? Especially as we look around during COVID, we can see the consequences of doing it my way. We have created a very lonely world. I think of people that I've known now in the later part of their lives, alone and very lonely. Lent is a time to contemplate Jesus' way that welcomes each person into a beautiful network, a tapestry woven by love, by self-sacrificing love. From chapter 1 of the book of Genesis to the book of Revelation, we're called to become a part of the body of Christ, a great family of families, a great interconnection, interconnectedness to be led into the fullness of life, eternal life. Such a truly awesome vision. An essential element is simply the Christian family. The Christian family, man and woman made in the image of God, becoming family, an icon of God's love. In every day, it's often very messy and imperfect, but still trying to mirror the holy family. It's God's way to create happy, holy, human beings, saints in this life and the next. <laughs>